Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel, back in a brand new series, and this is just going to be a weird kind of short series. It's going to be between 5 and 10 episodes, and it's going to be basically 100 days in this world, but I'm not going to be doing it all in one go, due to me being ill, and it's just basically going to be a filling um, series while I'm trying to get better. So, over the next week or so, this series will be uh, uploaded to the channel. It'll probably be around 10 days per episode. Some might have uh, 20 uh, days per actual video. I'm not too sure yet. But by the end of this series, we would have uh, completed 100 days in Minecraft, at least in Minecraft 2, also known as Better Minecraft. This is a mod pack. It can be downloaded on Cursed Forge. I will link it in the description. And, okay, there is hostile mobs spawning absolutely everywhere. But yeah, this is basically just going to be a filling series because I'm currently ill and it's hard to record most of my other series because I can't sit at the PC for a very long time. And I know you may be thinking, okay, but how can you sit at a PC and record 100 days? That is why I'm splitting it up into like 10 parts. And I'm also, obviously, with 100 days, I can sit at the computer without actually having to speak or put much uh, effort into speaking so that is what i'm going to be doing hopefully it goes well i'm not too sure and hopefully i don't die okay so let's quickly just make a crafting table and then also some sticks there we go and okay wait is that a village right there i think there is a village let's quickly actually make so no, no, no let's make sure we do that right there we go a wooden sword now we can actually take out some of these cows for food that's one cow gone. Let's now quickly go and kill this other one. And okay, there is something right there that I can see. And okay, that's not actually... We don't have Optifine installed. So instead we are... I don't know what we're doing. We're crawling. And it seems like there's some sort of village over here. I don't know if this is going to be a good village. But I'm going to go to it anyway. Because hopefully we can sleep in it. And get rid of A, the night time. And then we can proceed to day two. Yes, it is a village, and if we quickly just sleep, we can get rid of the daytime, uh, no, not the daytime, the nighttime, and there we go. So, let's also take all of this, and I know we didn't get much done in day one. That is mainly because, obviously, I was loading into the world, getting everything set up, so it's kind of annoying, but I guess it doesn't, uh, okay, what are you? You are a oceanographer, okay, you sell quite a lot of sea-related stuff. And I'm guessing this is your workstation. It is. So, okay. Your chest has a bit of ocean-related food in. Okay, this village is actually a lot bigger than I thought it was. So, I'm going to quickly just explore it. See what we can find. And there's a blacksmith over there. I keep trying to zoom. Uh, forgetting that we can't actually zoom. Let's also take a bed with us just so we have the bed. Now, the coolest part about this village is it does have a waystone in the very center. I'm also... There's... Okay. This is a forestry bench. That is cool. So yeah, there's a waystone in the very center here. I am going to activate this because then obviously we can teleport back to this whenever we actually want, which is cool. So we can always get back to this village now, even if we are far away, as long as we have another waystone. Okay, I remember seeing a structure over there. The village is just there and I started to run in that direction, but I remembered there was a structure over there. There you go. There's the crafting table we actually did place. So in some, somewhere over there I saw like a mushroom looking structure which I'm going to head towards. So let's quickly just take this cow out and there we go that's a bit more food. So where exactly was it? I think we were standing here. Uh, so it was literally just over in there. Yeah okay it's right there. Does it have any chests? Okay we got an advancement from doing it. And there's a spawner with pigling brutes uh, or piglings. I don't know if that was a pigling brute or a pigling. And, okay, you're a pigling brute, but you seem very weak. So, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to sneak in here. And, okay, no, there's way too many. I need to try and sneak past them to break the spawner. But it seems like they're just going to carry on spawning. So, I guess my best bet is to run around and block myself in somewhere. Let's quickly just grab them. And, okay, they're falling in the water. So, I'm going to block myself in here a second. And I'm going to do something like that. And there we go. We can't actually get hit from right here. So I can quickly just break the spawner. And we can now run out and take the pigling brutes out before they do any damage to me. Okay, I'm just quickly breaking it and we managed to break it. So now I guess we can loot all of the chests. So let's go around, 
just to make sure there's no actual hidden spawners anywhere, because I have a feeling there might be one like hidden in the corners over here or something. It don't seem like there is. So we can quickly just loot these two chests. And there wasn't that much good loot in them. Okay, there is a house over here. We could actually make this our base. Now, I think this actually has hostile mobs in it. I'm not too sure though. So I am going to be weary actually going up to it. And this is actually quite a cool area. I like how it looks. I just don't know. I think this is a hostile mob area. So there's actually gravel, a crafting table, and a fletching table right here. And that seemed to be very weird on what it done right there. There are now and again some lag spikes. Just ignore them. So let's actually, yeah, as you can see, they actually have illagers inside. And I got hit by something that seemed like it was behind me. So let's quickly just take you out. And you just shut the door in my face. That is very rude. So let's quickly just take you out. You keep shutting the door on me. And there we go. That's two of them. I don't know if there's any more in there. I'm guessing that's it. But I'm just going to quickly eat before we actually go inside. Okay, that hut is right there. And just to our left, there is a tower. I'm pretty sure this is a dungeon. So there's hostile mobs all over it. So I'm going to go into it. Why wouldn't I? I'm a noob and I would most likely die doing this. So I'm actually going to be smart about it and get a little bit more protected. So we actually have nine iron. Let's quickly make a leggings and also a sword. Just because I'm not a complete noob and I know that we will die if we don't actually get a little bit protected. Let's also get that. And we do have the bows on our, in our obviously hand. So we do have that. So there we go. That is now I think everything. We have 14 arrows to work with. So I guess let's head into this and actually battle it. Okay, so we've got battle tower advancement and I'm going to check every single chest. So as far as I know, they have the spawners in these. So we do need to be careful. And yes, as you can see, there's a spawner right there. Let's quickly take it out. I should have really made an iron pickaxe because breaking the spawners is a lot slower. So let's actually loot all these chests. Curse of Vanishing, I don't really want. Okay, Caves and Cliffs uh, backport, the other side music disc. I'm going to take that over maps as I don't really need maps. And I'm also going to leave the gunpowder as I don't think I'm going to need gunpowder anytime soon. Okay, the second floor has a spider spawner again. So we're just going to quickly take that out, make sure there's no spiders hiding. And then loot the chest. And once again, there's a other side backport. And we're going to take the bucket just because the bucket's good to have it for water. So let's go to the third floor and we're only on day three and we are pretty much stacked already. So the next thing obviously once we've beat this tower is okay this one's a zombie spawner. Let's quickly just get rid of some of these zombies and let's quickly break you just so you can't kill me. And please just let me break the spawner there we go we managed to break it. So let's just kill you and there we go. Any secret chests or anything? Uh, <laughs> funny tower. Is there any chests? Okay, there's one chest right there, and I think that's it. And at the very, very top of this tower is another waystone. So now I can teleport from this uh, tower to the village, and I can teleport back to this village. As you can see, that's the village. That's this tower. So I can actually do that now, which is really cool. So if I ever need to get back to the village for whatever reason, I can do so. And let's also sleep day three away and go on to day four. I think I'm going to loot the house. And then I'm going to go down and loot the mine shaft. Just because obviously then we should. Are you going to kill me? You don't seem to be about to kill me. And you have a sealer and a journey book. Okay. They are cool things. Do you have any loot inside of your house? Or not? Uh, you have a blast furnace, a normal furnace. A bed with a campfire that goes upstairs. Also upstairs right there. And nothing in there apart from an empty barrel. Okay, I've just slept the day away. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to loot the rest of this cave. And I'll see you guys around about the end of day 5. Okay, we are currently on day 6. And I found a shulk cave over here. So I'm just going to quickly take out these mobs to get to it. And I think we're about mid day 6. And there are some lag spikes here and there which are kind of annoying. Okay, that just broke as well. So it seems like you need Silk Touch for all the blocks, which I did actually know. I just didn't know if the mod would have actually replicated them like they were shown off. So what we're going to do now is we're going to head back to the surface. And then we are now going to start working on our base. 
and also a food farm. Okay, there is another one over here, and I think this is the one we should actually be at, because I remember this uh, backdrop over there. So, finally, we are actually back at the stuff we should be at, and all our stuff is actually here. So, while exploring, I found these, which are frozen diamonds, and it says they can be crafted into tools and stuff like that. So, if I quickly just search frozen diamond, we can craft it into, okay, frozen diamond armor. Also, a ring freezes all nearby enemies. Okay, so it seems like it's actually a quite cool of a thing. And we can actually make the boots, which is a two against a three. What is iron boots? It's just a two, so it just gives us three uh, knockback, I think that is. Or well, that is armor. So let's quickly just ditch all this in there. And what we now want to do is set up some sort of actual base. Or not base, but food farm. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is on these corner blocks, it's going to go too high with stripped. And that's going to be on every single corner. So let's quickly just do that. And this isn't going to look the best. And this is just a simple food farm taking advantage of one of the mods that we actually have. So that should now be done. And now what I want to do is let's quickly just make some fence posts, which I'm pretty sure is something like, uh, how is the fence posts made? Uh, where is it? So let's now take that as the middle is what? That's three. And then that's three. So the middle is on that block. And then I can quickly just put that back there. I don't know why that wouldn't let me pick block. So there we go. So we can now go in and out of this area. So now all we need to do is let's quickly just put these birch logs up on here. And that's for no reason apart from decoration. So finally, I'm going to plant this. And I actually think I've done it wrong. Does it need to be two or one? I think it needs to be one hay bale. Okay, it is. It needs to be one hay bale. So I can actually pick that hay bale up. And it's a straw golem. And what this straw golem will actually do is it will harvest crops for us. So I'm pretty sure if I shift right click on it and then shift right click on the chest. That couple, uh, straw golem is now actually uh, like linked to this chest. So I'm pretty sure it should now put items in that chest. Okay, I have saved the gatekeeper and we can now buy that off you. So let's quickly take that and I also want to buy the book just to see what this is all about because I do not want to be going to a dimension that I could possibly not be able to exit or that I could die in. So yeah, let's once again hope that this is nothing bad. I have no idea. I've never played around with this mod and I'm hoping that nothing bad happens. Have I completely messed up how you do this? Or okay, no, it's because that light was there. So let's head in into it. And let's hope that this is nothing bad and we can leave it afterwards as this would not be good if we get wrecked by a mob as soon as we enter. Okay, so there's some raw moonstone right here. It uh, seems the local tool doesn't work well here. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. There's a mob over there that I do not like the look of and it looks like it's coming for me. Okay, so in this dimension, can you not use your normal tools? No, you can't. So how can I actually, like, mine? I'm guessing I have to dig down and find a unique tool type or something, or unique ore. Okay, it turns out you can still mine the stuff with non-blocks uh, from this world, but it takes quite some time. So what I'm going to do is I just quickly want to see if I can make a pickaxe with what I've got. I got some lunar cobblestone. Which I'm hoping that I can craft into some things real quick. So let's quickly just craft some lunar sticks. And I'm hoping to make a yeah lunar stone pickaxe. So now if I head down into the caves. Can I mine a lot quicker? Okay we can. Okay just before it turns to day 10. Let's now bone meal that. That is now 100%. So that uh, what's it called straw golem. Should go to that, pick it up, replant it, and it should also... Okay, there is now really bad lag. Okay, the reason I can't actually sleep is because it's a blood moon. So, uh, let's quickly just lock the door up. And that is where I'm going to end this video. We are technically on day 10, and it's a blood moon, so I can't literally do anything. So, if you did enjoy, leave a like and subscribe. And I guess I will see you guys in another video very soon. Let me know what you guys thought of this. This is just going to be a mini series. It'll probably be around 10 episodes, if not less. So I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye.